Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at Google's brand new AI, Gemini. I'm gonna show you how to get this on your iPhone right now. And I also wanted to share my thoughts with you guys in regards to Google's brand new service. Now, the UI, when you first launch it, is fairly simple, as you can see right there. All the links will be available in the description down below, by the way. Now, when you launch the Google Gemini, you have to log in with your Google account for it to provide you with more relevant information and more personalized information. As you can see right here, we have have my Google account on the top right, a history button. There's also two tiers. So you have Gemini Standard and Gemini Advanced. One is a subscription. The Advanced will be a subscription service. The Gemini Standard is free. And then on the top left, you also have some settings and options you can play around with. Right here, you see that it's got my name, says hello, and it also shares with me uh, some tiles here of things I can do with this AI. Now below that, we also have a text input field, right there it is. We can also upload any images from the camera roll, take a picture, or use dictation, voice dictation, for text input as well. So let me go to show you how simple it is to use it. Obviously, I'm gonna ask it something super simple like generating images and things like that. So generate an image of the moon. Fairly simple task here. So let's see how quickly and accurately it can actually generate images of the moon here and they will get to more complex things in images and photos and things like that. So there it is. We have a few images of the moon right there. So yeah, pretty accurate, pretty simple stuff there. So now let's go ahead and take a picture of an iPhone, for example. So I have two iPhones here. One is a 13 Pro Max and the other is a 14 Pro Max. So let's see if the actual AI can tell the difference, all right? Because they look pretty similar. So let's go ahead and take a picture of the 13 Pro Max here. Let's see if it can actually identify this device. So let's go ahead. Could you identify this device? Let's see what it will say. Let's see if it's accurate and it says that it is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's go ahead and wait a few seconds here. And uh, by the color, it could tell the difference. So let's see if the AI is smart enough. So right here it says that it's either an iPhone 12 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max, 13, 14 Pro Max, uh, 13 Pro. I mean, it was not accurate. So it wasn't accurate specifically it's telling me that this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now let's try the 14 Pro Max. So let's take a picture of that. And let's see if it can identify this device. Can you identify this device? Okay, so let's go ahead and ask it. And let's see what happens with the 14 Pro Max. Now, the difference here, of course, uh, physically would be the colors. So if the AI was smart enough, it could tell us that one's a 13 Pro Max and one's a 14 Pro Max. But let's see what it would say this time around. So let's see if it identifies this one. So this one, it did identify. So the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it gives you additional information in regards to the camera, the port, and so on. So it did specifically identify the 14 Pro Max. Let's take another picture of the 13 Pro Max, just in case it had issues identifying that at first. And let's see what it will say the second time around. And let's ask it to identify this device. So identify this device. Now, of course, this will be very useful if you're looking to purchase something and you don't know specifically the model or the version number of a phone or a tablet. If it can identify that accurately, then this could be a very useful tool for that. So let's go ahead and wait and see if it can specifically, oh, it actually did it this time. So iPhone 13 Pro Max is specifically identify the 13 Pro Max this time around. I just took a better image or picture this time around. It gives us more information in regards to the port, the cameras and things like that. So yeah, it actually did identify both devices after a few tries on the 13 Pro Max there. Now let's do something like a poem. So let's ask it to write a poem. So let's go ahead and use dictation here. Write a poem on Steve Jobs. Okay, let's go ahead and wait for that. And let's see if it can generate a poem here in just a few seconds. We're actually getting a poem here rather quickly. So yeah, that is very nice. Right here you have a button, a speaker, where you can go ahead and type it or hear it, actually. Let's go ahead and hear that. Absolutely. Here's a poem inspired by Steve Jobs. A rebel heart with pixels in his sight. He saw the world not as it was, but might. In garages dreamt, where circuits fused with flare, a vision bloomed, ideas hung in air. Sleek lines and curves, a minimalist's delight, not just machines, but soul-given flight. The mouse, the click, the icon's simple grace, he wove the future in a digital space. Think different, whispered with a knowing grin, he dared the world to break the mold within. From fonts that dance to music in your hand, he painted change upon a stark command. 
His flaws were etched as deep as genius burned, perfections drive, a lesson harshly learned. But in the bite mark of a fruit so bright, endures the legacy of his boldest fight. Though mortal frame did yield to time's decree, the rebel spirit lives, a spark set free. In every swipe and tap his echoes ring, the visionary's tale that screens still sing. Wow, that's actually pretty good for a quickly generated poem on Steve Jobs. So yeah, how to get Gemini on your iPhone right now if you want to try it out. Um, all you have to do is click the links in the description. It will bring you to Google's website here for Gemini. Click the share options below the screen here and then click on add to home screen and it will generate the icon for you. And then you can click on add and this will add the Gemini icon directly to the home screen of your iPhone. This is not an app store app. Of course, this is a web app, but there you guys have it. That is Gemini again, Google, Apple, and everyone is going to join the AI game Apple will soon be sharing with us what they're going to be doing with iOS 18, perhaps even Siri or perhaps even a standalone service. But right now, Google's Gemini is now available. You can try it out. Again, the link's down below. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.